Alrighty peoples, this is Ross. So you could tell probably by looking at this video is that the sun's out. It's nice and bright and sunny day, but there actually is still snow on the ground. It is the end or we're approaching the end of February now. And usually the beginning of March, at least in my climate, signifies a time where the spring is really beginning. We can really start to work the ground. It's no longer frozen. Perhaps uh, it stops snowing. Perhaps we see temperatures really that don't get too far below 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So for me, this is kind of the perfect time to start planting things. Um, I'm gonna be planting actually some strawberries, moving things around uh, now that the ground's workable. And of course, we can talk about the fig tree, right? Where do I plant my fig tree? So that's the title of this video. That's what we're gonna talk about in regards to when, just very quickly, I would argue that the spring right around now is really probably the second best time to plant any fruit tree. But figs specifically, I think for most of us, the fall is probably the best time of the year. And if you live in a very cold place like I do, you might be able to make an argument that actually the spring is the best time of the year. Um, so regardless, I think if you're gonna plant a fig tree, I think you'd rather do it now rather than let's say in the summer. So this is a really important point about where that we're going to mention is that where I'm standing, you can tell that the snow has melted. And if I really just turn you guys around and look the other way, it's still a couple inches of snow that's really quite a bit frozen, actually. Um, but this area here is, is warm. And well, fig trees like warm temperatures. They like not only warmer air temperatures but really at the soil level so if the you know the snow is melting along this side of the house you probably could make a good estimate that this is a good area to plant a fig tree why because it's very warm so that's what figs love right is they love the warmth they love the drier conditions the drier weather think of a, a desert Really, they're kind of like a cactus in a sense. So this is one method I think that's a foolproof way of knowing where to plant your fig tree. Now this is also the southern side of our house um, and it's probably the best. It gets the most amount of sunlight, which is really what you want. Now if I go around the corner to the west side of the house, this is also, I would argue, a very good place to plant your fig tree. In fact, I even have one here it's pretty small. It's a dwarf, kind of a dwarf fig tree called Little Ruby that uh, is on the southwest corner. And that right there actually does really well. In fact, even throughout the wintertime, it seems to do really well because it's got some extra heat, right? That those ambient temperatures that radiate off of the thermodynamic heating that is produced during the day and released at night from not only the house, but also the rocks, these bricks, these stones, all of that. So this fig tree here does fantastic. In fact, it's one of the first to even wake up in the spring. Because we have them in an area, like you can see over here, the snow is pretty much melted on this side of the house. Because of that, the soil in the spring warms up there first. Now, why is that important? For a lot of us, getting an early start to our season is really critical. So if we have a really cold area, I remember, believe it or not, if you guys remember, when I was a kid, my grandfather came over to the house one day and he had a bunch of four foot long fig branches with him. And at the time, I didn't know what I was doing. He was the fig expert at that point, but he looked around the yard and settled on this fence, planting them against the fence. And if you look at the fence right now, it's in pretty much total darkness. Um, a fig tree in this location probably wouldn't get a whole lot of light, even though this is our southern exposure because the fence is there and these shade trees above would really block out a lot of that sun. So, you know, a really important point here is that not only do we want a southern exposure, but we want something that gets a lot of sun and not just now, at different times of the year. So. It's really important actually to kind of use your imagination because here these, these big shade trees are gonna have leaves on them. And yeah, it's sunny all over here now, but will it be sunny here in the spring? Will it be sunny here in the fall? You know, the fall is when they're ripening. So if you don't have good soil temperatures, good sunlight, 
in the fall and in the spring, you're not going to do well. And the angle of the sun is different at those times. So yeah, it's really important and you can obviously tell that there's a lot of sun right here now, but it may not be the case at other times of the year. So it's really important. Yeah, this is only one indicator. Really, I would do what I would do if you want to make this the most optimal surefire way is to measure the sunlight at different times of the year. Maybe you've already figured that out, uh, but also measure the soil temperatures at different times of the year, right? Unless you guys are in a desert, like somewhere in Arizona or something that's really, really, really warm, um, I would probably plant it in the warmest spot you have. So I wouldn't worry too much about, you know, planting this thing in a colder area for a lot of us. I really would try to focus on getting it as warm in a warm of a spot as possible, which means the most sunlight and the most heat throughout the day. And of course, if some of that can be released at night, it's even better. So that's kind of really what I wanted to mention here, guys, is where and when we touched on those a little bit. And you can see, I think, really proven from some of the uh, experiences, Ooh, excuse me guys, really apologize for that. For some of the experiences I've had now with some of these fig trees in this particular climate really is a testament. And this is really what we talk about on this channel for so many videos is really raising that heat, um, getting them off on the right foot, getting them off on the right start to the season because that makes the hugest, the biggest difference when it comes to actually ripening these fruits later down in the year. And I want to make one little point because believe it or not, if you guys remember this patio is just covered from see my other videos, it's covered with fig trees. You know, there's so many I have in pots that we place on the patio. And I've learned actually this area right where you guys are at, believe it or not, I had a ton of fig trees there prior in a year prior. And it just didn't they didn't really produce all that well. And I realized actually later in the summer, in the beginning of the fall, let's say sometime in September, they just really weren't doing well. And the reason for that largely was because of the sun. The shade trees behind you were shading out all the sun. And in fact, the same thing sort of happens back here, or the opposite happens back here, is that you could make an argument that the sun is actually stronger in the fall back here, whereas in the spring, or let's say in the summer, it's not very strong. And it's kind of just something, again, really proving my point is that you have to really observe your yard. Be a good observer is gonna make the biggest difference in the success of your fig tree. Put in the time now, guys. Put in the work now. We talked about where, but there's a lot of other techniques that I've mentioned about planting the fig tree, let's say higher above grade, even below grade. Um, different methods of planting I've talked about over the years. Really look into this and figure out what is the best method for you. And I hope that you guys have success going forward with your fig tree based off of uh, some of the help I've been able to give you guys over the years. So we'll see everybody soon, all right? Take care, hit that subscribe button for me. We'll, we're gonna you know, put a couple more videos coming uh, in the next few weeks, so stay tuned, all right? Take care, guys.